It's story time. Story, story, story time. Let's read a story time. Story, story, story time. I'm geek this story time. Story, story, story time. You and me, it's story time. Story, story, story time. Uh, let's achieve. Hello, everybody. And welcome to story time with me, Kayla. How are you doing on this beautiful Wednesday? I hope you're doing well and, of course, making sure to stay safe. Now today, we have another special art feature. Today, we are going to take a look at a book from returning Arthur, Rashad Patterson. We had the honor of reading his very first book, Slow Money is Better Than No Money. And now we are back with his second book, which just came out, is hot off the press. And so, without further ado, the book we will be reading tonight is called... Dun -dun 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 -dun. Present but Absent, written by Rashad Patterson. You ready to see what this book is all about? Ready, set, let's begin. Present but Absent, written by Rashad Patterson. Here we go. And I do apologize for all the wind in the background. It's a windy day in the shy. <laughs> this book was written to motivate children on a path of excellence. And he left us with his website as well. Atlanta, Georgia. Ooh. Corey and Mimi attend Rashad Patterson Elementary School. Rashad Patterson Elementary School is located on Cascade Road in Southwest Atlanta. Every day after school, Corey and Mimi walk home. Corey and Mimi live 10 minutes from school. Hmm. Do any of you all walk home to and from school? When Corey and Mimi arrive home, their mother is passed out laying on the couch. I'm hungry, Corey. I'm about to cook dinner now, Mimi. While Corey cooks dinner, Mimi does her homework. Hmm. Since I cook dinner, you have to wash the dishes, Mimi. That's a bet, Corey. While washing the dishes, Mimi listens to her favorite rapper, Cadillac T1 DZ. Hmm. Before going to bed, Corey checks Mimi's homework to make sure it's done correctly. While Mimi and Corey are sleeping, their mother wakes up and eats dinner. Hmm. It's kind of like Corey and Mimi was doing what grown-ups do, what parents do. Huh. The next morning, Mimi and Corey brush their teeth and take a shower. After taking a shower, Corey cooks breakfast. It's almost as if they're taking care of themselves. Corey cooks scrambled eggs with cheese, bacon, and pancakes. After eating breakfast, Corey reminds his mother about Mimi's spelling bee after school. Please don't forget Mimi's spelling bee is today. Mm. But she's just laid out on the couch, isn't she? Corey and Mimi walk to school. Mimi and Corey arrive at school at 8.50 a.m. Hmm. School starts at 9 a.m. and ends at 2 p.m. Today is the district spelling bee and Mimi is representing her school as the third grade spelling bee ambassador. Mimi spells every word correctly. Triumph. T-R-I-U-M-P-H. Yes, that is correct, Mimi. Huh? She's doing good. The judge announced Mimi as the winner of the spelling bee. After the spelling bee, Corey and Mimi walk home. Ooh, she won. But wait, is there anyone in the audience who she was looking for? When Corey and Mimi arrive home, their dad is laying on the couch watching television. Dad, I won the spelling bee. Corey and Mimi's dad is a truck driver. He's only home two days a week. Mimi puts her trophy in her room while Corey cooks dinner. Hmm. She, she's so excited about her spelling bee. How do you think she feels telling her dad? How does he seem to be? Does he seem happy? Does he care? While Corey is cooking dinner, his dad leaves the house to play cards. 
Corey tells Mimi to come and eat dinner. Hmm. After eating dinner, Corey washes the dishes while Mimi does her homework. Before going to bed, Corey checks Mimi's homework. Corey and Mimi go to sleep. The next morning, Corey wake up, brushes his teeth, and makes breakfast. After a 10 minute walk, Corey and Mimi arrive at school. Corey is the starting point guard for his school's team. Corey's team is playing in the championship. Hmm. So it really is like Corey and Mimi are taking care of themselves. They're doing everything on their own. The basketball game begins. The basketball game was very competitive, but Corey's team wins the championship. What? That is good to hear. After the basketball game, Corey and Mimi walk home. When Corey and Mimi arrive home, their dad is watching television. Mimi makes Corey a bowl of ice cream as a celebration for winning the basketball game. After eating ice cream, Corey and Mimi go to sleep. Mm. So it's kind of like their parents didn't care, so they're like looking out for each other, doing what they got to do and celebrating each other. Today is the last day of school. Corey wakes up early to exercise. After exercising, Corey takes a shower and makes breakfast. After eating breakfast, Corey and Mimi walk to school. The next year, Corey goes to middle school and continues playing basketball. Mimi goes to the fourth grade and wins the spelling bee again. Present but absent is a parenting style by which some children are raised. Present is defined as in attendance, and absent is defined as away or unavailable. So kind of like how they were telling them that, well, while they're doing homework, she's sleep on the couch. She's there. She is physically there, but she's kind of not with them and participating and engaging with them. She's not engaging at all. Neither one of their parents were engaging with them. They both were unaware or unavailable. And here's where you could check out his other books. And he also left us with a glossary in the back of the book. The and Yes, K Crew! You know, I definitely have to give a huge shout out, thank you to our Arthur for writing this book because I know there are so many kids out there who are dealing with the same thing. So thank you, Rashad, for bringing awareness and letting the kids know that they're not alone. Now, I hope you enjoy reading this book as much as I did. To find your copy, make sure to head on over to his website. You can also find this book on Amazon. And of course, be sure to follow on social media. A big thank you again to our Arthur for the submission. And I thank you all out there as well for joining me. But it's time to say goodbye. Are you ready? Here we go. Goodbye, 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 my friends. Goodbye to you. I hope to see you again real soon. Be proud of all your work tonight. Now climb in your bed and sleep real side. On account of three, let's say goodnight. One, two, three.